The novel Burial Rites, written by Hannah Kent, was chosen for the visual imagery it stimulates within the mind's eye and for its embedded themes and historical context. The decision was consciously made to depart from the influence of the current published outcomes for Burial Rites as we sought to visually portray the grittier, darker content depicted within. After pre-visualisation, the photographic technique of light painting was chosen for the book cover and poster for its unique visual appeal. I, Michaela, posed as the model. Once the photographs were chosen, the image Imagery was digitally manipulated, two typefaces were selected, the serif font Bianco alluding to the historical context and the contrasting modern sans serif font Futura, which when combined they reached a contemporary audience. Guided by Andrew Loomis's theory exemplifying the importance of a simplistic, sharp treatment with minimal colour values, the book cover for Burial Rites sells the product as exciting, immersive and emotive. The concepts explored within our imagery respond to the themes of fire, identity, two-sided stories and self-perception versus the perception of others. The imagery upon the cover is an explicit visual manifestation of the Burial Rites prologue. Colour theory within the cover and poster has been used to portray the main character, Agnes's soul, as it is pulled from her and distorted into something twisted, the outsider's perception. Through the combined ideology with colour, the manipulation of red and pink symbolises fire, passion and anger, purple, spirituality, blue shades, melancholy, black, decay and maliciousness, and grey and white to portray the cold, emotionless vessel she will become. The red hue against black creates a powerful contrast that gains instant attention, as validated by Loomis's studies. The utilisation of concise, powerful quotes were specifically placed to capture interest and chronologically lead the reader on Agnes's emotional journey. Self-reflection and morality versus murder are subjects that are expressed upon our poster through Agnes, a silhouetted raven of ill omen and the impression of a dagger. The portrait, bathed in red light, symbolises Agnes overlooking the burning barn that consumes the dead bodies. Curiosity is stimulated as the portrait manifests within the silhouetted raven, where initially its wing is seen as a bloody dagger. The roughly textured background alludes to the grittiness of Agnes's physical and psychological existence. The featured quote, to know what a person has done and to know who a person is are very different things, invites the audience to consider the spectrum of ethics and explores the inaccurate impression of someone's actions when compared against their morality. Upon the front cover of the zine, entitled Extinguished, the outsider's perception of Agnes is depicted in the form of a proud, cold murderess. The wispy, fiery colours forming her true profile and the tendrils of a raven's wing symbolises her soul as she leaves her body upon execution and farewells her mortal vessel by passing through it. Truth and manipulation have been represented through the photographic collage, featuring a distorted portrait to represent the multi-faced opinions of Agnes. The abruptly placed image of a face mask symbolises Agnes Agnes's title of a malicious murderess, as labelled by the justice system, where poured water figuratively displays her morals and intelligence being washed away. Murky Rembrandt lighting has been utilised to create an emotional narrative and represents the long, dark Icelandic winters. The digital illustration aims to depict the themes of social, emotional and physical abuse. Agnes is held by an intimidating masculine character, a physical representation of the authoritative patriarchy that silences women through emotional manipulation and censorship as characterised by Nathan and Bajorn, whereas the clawed hands represent bystanders that turn a blind eye to the injustices or judge Agnes such as the Reverend John. The vibrant pink hues demonstrate the power exerted from Agnes as she wields the blade, red lighting the animosity within her eyes. From an outsider's perception, the left image, Agnes is a sadistic, bloodlusting murderess, whilst the opposing side is the truth, as she weeps with grief and the relief of receiving forgiveness from her lover, whom she put out of his misery. Spread Four depicts the belonging and protection a home affords against the beautiful but deadly Icelandic landscapes. The composition depicts Agnes as a silhouette, contemplating her escape whilst aware that death is imminent through exposure or the natural elements. Icelandic motifs have been used to create a contrast between the subject style and the Macabre pictorials. The imagery on the final page responds powerfully to Agnes's final thoughts as she is told of her impending execution, whereupon the concept visualises her resignation and acceptance of what will be will be. The desaturated hues and neutral colours have been specifically selected for the psychological meaning black for death, where the hues bleed from her body as she loses her soul in life surrendering to the transient will of mortality. Through the thematic and visual analysis of the novel Burial Rites, we have produced engaging, interactive, coherently executed, and aesthetically appealing mock-up applications of a book cover, poster, and zine.